What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So let's stop this video with the mutant Nick Walker and Matt Jensen, who both came under very heavy fire and heavy criticism for pulling out of this year's Miss Olympia just a week before this show was scheduled. So a whole lot of that criticism that was based around the fact that this whole situation, it could have been handled in a much better way in comparison to the way these guys did. And I do not know if many of you guys have noticed that. The announcement video of Nick Walker and Matt that has been taken down by them from their Instagram. So whether it was a self-realization that things could have gone a lot better than that or a general thought that if him not being in shape, if that was the only reason he decided to pull out of this year's Miss Olympia because people are gonna assume that was the case after these guys mentioned that his body wasn't responding. So that was a mistake in many people's eyes and maybe that is why these guys took that video down. But that is in the past now. And I for one am happy to see Nick Walker back in the gym doing what he loves to do. But that being said, I have to say there is gonna be so much pressure on Nick Walker for whatever show he decides to do in 2025. And it is gonna start from the moment he makes that announcement that he is doing a particular show. So one thing I think we all wanna see on Nick Walker or in regards to Nick Walker when he does get into prep for a show in 2025 is that he doesn't make any big claims before entering that show. Because if you guys think about it, Samson Dauda did not once say that he is gonna win the Olympia title. He didn't make any predictions. All he did was show up in the best shape of his life and he literally made his physique do all the talking and on the stage. So Nick Walker was top 3 in the world more than 2 years ago and going by his last showing which was this year's New York Pro, that physique would not have made top 4 at this year's Miss Olympia and I think we can all agree on that because the way Martin Fitzwater showed up at this show he most probably would have beaten him. So first of all, I think Nick Walker needs to regain all that momentum, regain all his hype and all he needs to do is to show up next time better than what we saw at the Arnold 2021 which to this day I think and even Nick Walker thinks was the best physique of his career. Next up we have a full blown offset mod of the Egyptian tank Hassan Mustafa and I have got to say damn the man looks massive. So 2024 was the first time after 2 years when Hassan was unable to qualify for Miss Olympia. So he did 2 shows this year, Toronto Pro and Chicago Pro and he was extremely disappointing in both of these shows. The kind of match that Hassan Mustafa has, he could have been fighting for the title in both of these shows if only he was in shape, if only he was in condition for both of these shows. But the man was just so far off. So this pretty much has become a trend for Hassan Mustafa ever since the time he turned pro where he brings the condition and peaks 100% right for his shoe and then completely misses for the next one. I guess the only guy who was able to peak him perfectly in two shows back to back that was AJ Sims. Chad Nichols also did a great job with him in 2023. He helped him get to the Olympia stage where Hassan placed his career's best 11th in the world and that too with an injured tricep but Hassan just ended up splitting with Chad Nichols as well. Now the one thing that I think we can all agree on is that Hassan Mustafa doesn't need any more size to win those shows. He is one of the most heavily muscled guy in the men's open class. All he needs is to bring that peeled look, that rock hard granite like conditioning and he is gonna qualify for the Olympia again. So there has been so much chatter around Ramondino and his coach Chris Acido and there has been some immense pressure from the Brazilian fans were voicing their opinion that it's time for Ramondino to change his coach and maybe go with Honey Rambot because the thing is since Chris Bumstead retired as of right now Honey Rambot isn't coaching anyone in classic physique so maybe that is a possibility but as of right now there hasn't been any change because Ramon himself he hasn't spoken a word about this now his trainer and his coach they did put out a statement that there will be no change in Ramon's team you know he wants to like take the soft you know uh, he wants to shit on me but in a soft way and he I, I'm sure the soft way is simply because you know if Ramon comes back and dominates shows then he looks like an idiot so you know he's hedging his bets it's what it's called. And yes I know Ramon Dino was a bit off on the actual show day and I think we can all agree that is all that matters. The judges do not care how unbelievable you look when you are one or two or three weeks out of the show. But I have to ask you guys this question. Is it fair for the fans 
to ask Ramon or to pressurize Ramon to go for a change with his coach. Because let's just not forget that Chris Asito is the same coach who helped him get the Arn Flossick wins, two rural placings at the Olympia. And those, I have to say, are extremely impressive statistics for a coach and a client. And we all know, no matter how great Ramon looked at this past Miss Olympia, there is just no way he could have beaten this version of Chris Bumstead. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Should Ramon stick with Chris Asito for the upcoming Arnold or go for a change in his coach? Another important thing is that unlike 2023, where Ramon got the automatic qualification by placing second behind Chris Bumstead, this year he needs to earn his Olympia qualification by either winning the Arnold or some other Olympia qualifier. And that is why I think he is going for this upcoming Brazil Pro, which is happening in a few weeks' time. So the first show on the calendar year after the Olympia 2024, that is Romania Pro. And now it is less than 25 days away. So there is only one IFB Pro who has officially made the announcement that he is going to be doing that show. And that is Marcelo aka Harsemdi, who is still working with Milo Sarsev as his coach. And he will be making his first appearance in Romania after the Arnold Ohio this year, which went totally against him and against his own expectations, as well as the expectations set by all the people, all his fans, for Harsemdi. So not only was he missing a whole lot of muscularity compared to all these other IV pros, especially from the back, he wasn't as shredded or as peeled as he was at last year's Romania Pro, which was his pro debut. But he was able to beat so many big names, guys like Nathan Diesha, Andre Presti, and Muhammad Fada. And honestly, I have to say that was very little time for Harsemdi to bring up his back, which is his biggest weakness from Romania till this year's Arnold. And I believe same is the case from this year's Arnold to this year's Romania Pro, which is happening in 25 days. So we shall see which version of Harsemdi shows up here. Now he does have some very standard body parts. I mean, he has one of the best quad sweep in the men's open right now. He has those peaky biceps and they are no joke at all. So this year's Romania Pro, that is gonna be his third pro shoe. So he is kinda young in the field. So do you guys think Harsemdi will make it to the Olympia stage in 2025? So some of us were really excited to see Fabian Sylvian at this year's Classic Physique Olympia, which was also going to be his Olympia debut. Now he did make it to this year's Olympia stage. And as far as I can remember, I have never seen him in this type of crazy condition before. I mean, look at that Christmas tree from the back. That was absolutely insane. And his conditioning overall was also really wild. So what call out did Fabian get? Well, fact of the matter is, he only did his mandatories and he immediately got off the stage. So I will put exactly what he said and the way he felt that convinced him to get off the stage and get a checkup done immediately. Now I am very sad to report this, that Fabian has decided to get a capacitopin therapy which is gonna last about 6 months. And to my understanding, it's a treatment for cancer. So getting back on the stage, that would be the last thing on Fabian's mind. Right now he needs to get healthy and I sincerely hope that he does. He is one of the most impressive classic physique athletes and we as fans truly hope he gets better and gets healthy. So wishing him a speedy recovery. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.